Listen to Albino Trump selling ice cream in Afghanistan. <laughs> this is good. He's got a set of pipes on him, though. My eardrums are pulsating. Calm down, man. Whoa. <laughs> in the life of an 80 year old uh, guy living in Washington DC. I started the day with a quick nap then I got lost at the circus. I uh, almost started World War III. Oops. Ice cream check. And then I hopped on a flight. Went to some speech or something. Got lost again. Then grabbed another nap before calling it a day. Mr. President, do you think Elon Musk is a threat to US national security and should the U.S. and with the tools you have, investigate his joint acquisition of Twitter with... Whoa, 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 that's too many words. <laughs> that's too many words. Too many, that's too long a sentence. Can't break it down. It has to be concise. It has to be very brief. He can only understand his tiny, tiny doses. What's this big words you're throwing at him like this? Look at his face. My mind is already confused. What are you doing? You're just setting him up. Come on, man. Who's that journalist? Foreign governments, which include the Saudis. <laughs> I think that Elon Musk's cooperation and or technical relationships with other countries uh, a 71 year old man is accused of inappropriately touching <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> is this really a blooper? Like, is this really a blooper? That person's getting fired that night. What? girl at the Walmart in West Mifflin Sunday afternoon according to he doesn't know where he is oh my god this is so sad can't his family intervene he should be in a nursing home what is he doing running the most powerful country in the world he, he always, he's always like this walking like this he doesn't know where he is. Oh, come on, man. Why are they doing this to this guy? Someone actually think this guy's running things. Do you actually believe dude is running anything right now? It's sad. It's sad. They're talking about running him for another four more years. On what planet do you think that's going to work? I spent an hour and a half about 17 or 18 before gentlemen and I don't know how to say this. This virtually every uh, he, is, he doesn't know is what he's doing. He has no idea. Alzheimer's zero. None. And you know it's kind of fascinating if you look behind him one of the guys there kirby he's looking at he's gonna look at blinken in a moment like i told you this is a bad idea he just Shit. stared at that guy why did we bring him back why Unreal. did we let him do this i it's told you president. i told you in the meeting we shouldn't have joe go back to the <laughs> talk to the reporters i'm going to say something outrageous i have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the united states senate so the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. <laughs> His brain goes to sleep. His brain literally just shuts off. Wow. Whoa!
this is the current state of American politics right now. Do it right here. Are you serious right now? He can't even talk. It's it's getting worse. I can't watch this. Oh my lord, this is sad. This is sad. Wow. I'm, we're ready to get a lot done. And if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. And what are you talking about? Okay. Um, hang on. Uh, sorry. Oh. So He's got a teleprompter and book of notes for him to just read off. If you can't even be a teleprompter president, what good are you then? If you can't read the piece of paper that's put in front of you or the words in the teleprompter, then what? You're of no use to nobody. Not a whole lot about boy saves dog as he swims in the lake, you know, to say, you know, it's about, you know, somebody pushed the dog in the lake. I mean, I, I, I get it, but. He's gone. He is gone. Are people watching this? Are you guys actually seeing what's going on right in front of you? Like, the whole world is watching this. The whole world knows that this man is demented. He's not fit for office. Do you guys remember when Trump was in office? Trump was as sharp as nails. But yet, the media was going on about him being mentally inadequate and talking about his mental state. Whoa, oh, look at him going up the stairs. He's, he's, he's having to hold onto the railings to balance himself to go up the stairs. Oh, they think he's in, co he's in cognitive decline and all that. But this man right here is obviously demented. No one in the media is saying anything about this. And you're telling me there's no bias. Are you joking right now? Seriously. Dude here got 81 million... 80 something million votes. Highest votes in American politics, in modern American politics. Dude right here. Him right here. Grandpa Joe right here. About to fall asleep live on TV right now. Mid sentence, he just forgets what he's saying. His brain just shuts down. Wow. Come on, man. Abraham Lincoln here is one of the most racist presidents we've had in modern history. Abraham Lincoln, where did that come in? I mean, you said you're did Abraham that, Lincoln. Where did that? No, no. You said, I said not since Abraham Lincoln has anybody done what I've done for the black community. And I'm saying, I didn't say I'm Abraham Lincoln. I said not since Abraham Lincoln has anybody done what I've done for the black community. Now, you have done nothing other than the crime bill, which put oh God, that tens of thousands. Don't, oh God, he's spitting facts. That's why I don't like Trump. Because Trump just says, <laughs> Trump just says the quiet part out loud. Trump says what everybody else is thinking, but everyone else is too PC to say. We're living in a very upside down world right now. Where Trump, who's been the most loved person in, in black America, now is labeled racist. Why the person that initiated the crime bill that incarcerated hundreds of thousands, if not millions of black men in particular, ruined their lives forever. That architect, that person, is now seen as the savior of black people, as the person you must vote for. The same person that said, you can't put black kids, you can't integrate the schools, because it's going to turn into a zoo if you integrate black kids into white schools. Biden said that. Biden, Clinton, Bush, they're all the same. They're all the same. These are career politicians. Biden has been in politics since his 20s and it's damn near 100 years old now. He's been in politics his whole life. Done nothing. Yes, he got 80 something million votes. Of black men mostly in jail. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. That's Biden. When it says poor kids is just as talented <laughs> in his mind, is equating poor 
to black. Just take what he says. Just take what he says when he says poor kids. Just take that off. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. That's what he means when he says poor. Just take, take out the poor and put black kids there. That's what he actually means. Every now and then, his brain reverts back to his old self, his old true racist self. Because all he's doing is pra he's just a president of virtue signaling. He's just virtue signaling on LGBT and virtue signaling on BLM and all this woke stuff. He doesn't believe in none of that. He's just a virtue signaling president. He doesn't really believe in all that stuff. Because make no mistake, sit down and hear what I have to say. You think? When I signed the bipartisan infrastructure again, which. Now, even as we evolve our institutions and drive creative new partnerships, let me be clear. Certain principles of our international system are sacros sacrosanct. I watched it before. Wait, what the fuck is this? Drive creative new partnerships. Let me be clear. Certain principles of our international system are sacros 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 sacro sacro what sanctuary sanctified sanctions. I mean, it might be sanctions. It's always sanctioning somebody. Sank what was it? Sank what? And drive creative new partnerships. Let me be clear. Certain principles of our international system are sacros sacrosanct. It's a sacrosanct. It's just making up new words. What's a sacros sacrosanct? Many international policy are somewhere sacrosanct. I watched it before. I watched it as a kid. I watched it as a senator. I watched what happened in my community. Oh, bro. What did you watch? Chill, man. What's Pocahontas doing on screen, man? Flashback. The idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in. Uh, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say. That's called World War Three. The next day. Today, I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine. A few moments later. Basically, we're out of money. And so that's why today I'm sending Congress a supplemental budget request. It's going to allow pensions and social support to be paid to the Ukrainian people so they have something, something in their pocket. Hey, get the fuck out of here. It's going to keep weapons and ammunition flowing without interruption to the brave Ukrainian. They have money for war, but they can't feed the poor. They don't want to feed the poor. They keep sending money for people to buy bombs, to blow up people, to decimate an entire area. For what? These people are evil. He's the kind of president they, they like. The powers that be, the Silicon Valley folks, he's the kind of president that's president they like. Because whatever they put in front of him, he just signs. He just signs whatever they put in front of him. He doesn't have a mind of his own. They don't want someone like Trump there that's going to push back. In fighters. Five minutes later. We have artillery. Oh my god, send this guy out my screen, he's, oh, he's annoying, he's annoying. Yes, thank you. Is it enough? Honestly, not really. Bullshit. The following Thursday. The largest assistance package yet from the U.S. to aid Ukraine. The three billion dollars in direct aid to Ukraine includes 50 brass tanks. Twelve seconds late. The U.S. will send more than a billion dollars in new aid to Ukraine. President Biden is pledging another 150 million dollars in military assistance to the Focus home first. We've got serious problems back home. Four hours late. The U.S. locked down an additional two billion in military aid. It includes artillery. The total figure now stands close to one thirty billion dollars. A few, a few inches later. So, for all those Republicans in Congress criticizing me today for high gas prices in America, are you now saying we were wrong to support Ukraine? Are you saying we were wrong to stand up to Putin? Are you saying? that we would rather have lower gas prices in America and Putin's iron fist in Europe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, super gas. We get cheaper gas? Yeah. Well, Did you even ask that question? Was this an option the whole time? <laughs> I'm going, yeah. I'm saying, yeah. My vote is, yeah. Yeah. 